Hurricane Creek has always been sort of a mystical place. It's one of those places that got deep inside me the first time I saw it. The diversity in Hurricane Creek is one of the most intense in the world, really. The mixture of plants in here is something that you don't see in other watersheds, you know, anywhere around. It's a living, breathing laboratory. I am the Hurricane Creek Keeper. For me, my favorite thing to do is to get up in the morning before the sun comes up. There's a mist that comes up off the water. And I'll reach a location where I know the scenery is going to be nice. I'll get my camera set up in a reflection pool somewhere. And during that time, the camera is capturing true light. When I'm out here, it, it, it's almost, it, it is, it's a spiritual experience. I don't, I don't go to the brick buildings on Sunday. I come out here every day. This is my church. There was a lot of pollution in this creek for a long time. There have been a lot of development issues. There are a lot of coal mining issues that have caused a great decline in this watershed. I'm standing where there should be a foot or so of water. There's no water visible in either direction. It's been heavily impacted over the years. We lost a lot of the species that were native here. I noticed there were no more fish. No stream, no matter how clear the water is, it's not healthy if it don't have fish in it. Something's wrong. You know, we went from a creek that was considered by some scientists as, as biologically dead. It doesn't have to be just because that's the way it was. That was our mentality going forward is that we can fix this. I'm John Wathan. I'm your Hurricane Creek Keeper. And I'm on the trail of a sewage spill this morning. Uh, there, there were no laws that actually protected the creek from the mining process. So people were literally pushing their waste right over into the creek in places. But over the years, we've pulled hundreds of abandoned tires out of the creek, appliances, trash by the ton. A big cleanup is planned this week at Hurricane Creek. I'll show you how you can come out and help get junk like this out of here. By taking the litter out of the creek, we not only make it more aesthetically uh, pleasing, but it's safer. You know, the water's cleaner now than it has been, and our diversity is increasing every year. I'm starting to see more fish, like that bass right over there under the log. That was a nice bass that just swam by here. That is one of the most empowering feelings I can tell you. You know, we've seen this creek go from near destruction to a thriving ecosystem again. Clean water is essential to everything on Earth. The Lakota have a word, metakweasin. It means we're all related because of one thing, miniwachoni, water is life. We all require clean water in order to survive. When I first come down here, even when I cross over at a bridge site, I acknowledge the creek. I say, hello. This morning, I came down. I said, good morning to the creek because it's a living ecosystem. There's things in here that are alive. We're related to those fish. We're related to the turtles. We're related to these trees. So it's all alive. Why not say good morning to it? We want this watershed to be healthy enough for everybody to come and use. We need to go back to what this creek was. It was a community center. People can come out here and feel like they're a part of nature. As far as an attraction, 
to outdoor recreation. There's nothing that matches this anywhere in the county. It's, it's an incredibly diverse treasure. We could turn this into the crown jewel of Tuscaloosa's recreational facilities. I challenge people to go home and find a stream like this in their own community and become the friend of that creek and champion its health and recovery. Seeing the creek in, in the condition it's in today, it's a success story. It's a recovery in process. For me to see this creek come from basically a pollution waste conduit to the biodiverse treasure that it is today, that's been one of the greatest achievements of my life, but it's also been one of the greatest things I've ever witnessed.